Hi. I'm here today to talk about hats. Some people say it's a fetish, but I just can't help myself. It's, you know, some people just like to collect shoes and shirts and, I don't know, posters of flying hyenas. I don't know. Is that an animal? I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, I just really have this hat thing. So I like to take just a couple of minutes and have you live, like, just inside my head for a few minutes and what goes on most of my day. I don't have a whole lot more time in my life except for hats, so here goes. And I, whatever comes out, you just, well, you, you'll see, okay? Born on a mountaintop, Tennessee. Craziest little Okie I ever did see. Wanna go outside, take a pee, but the bear bit me in the bumblebee. Wait a minute, that's another song. I'll be back. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Oh, my name is Eliza Doolittle. Well, of course you knew that, didn't you? Somewhere, my love. Down, da down, 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 da down. Oh, pardon me, my own. Good that you showed up. Hey, Al, are you uh, all set with your agenda and Bob and Charlie here? And you, uh, Malcolm? You know, I'm glad you got casual too. You didn't get so serious and stuffy. Because I want to get you together and uh, bring up the uh, problem. We're, we're in deep doo doo right now with the company. And, uh, Charlie here thinks that it's you, Malcolm. And, uh, and then I want you to just hold off. I don't want you to say anything until I'm through with this. I want to get this over with once and for all. And, uh, well, anyway, Charlie brought it up to me that, uh, you're using just too many Kleenex. And, uh, Bob keeps finding him in the uh, cafeteria underneath the plates. So things have to be, I told you to be quiet, all right? Don't say any more. You open your mouth once more, you're not only fired, but you're, you're liable to get knocked on your back, all right? And anyway, uh, and Bob, did, uh, did we handle that septic problem or? Did I? It, I, did I make it clear once and for all that you are to keep your stupid mouth shut? Sorry, fellas. I mean, uh, gentlemen as you are, and you've been good to me, and, and you work the, com the company just the way I want them, Charlie and Bob. Uh, it's, it's just... Why do I have to keep having you come up with those idiotic comments? No! That's not the reason why you let go. Now you've got to dig up that old soil, huh? Well, go ahead. What, what, what do you got to say, Charlie? Don't, don't uh, ignore him, all right? Let, let's keep some peace in the room here because in about two minutes, this guy's gonna go down like lead. And, huh? You don't think so? <laughs> and knock you like a rodent dope. <laughs> huh? You better sit right where you are. I see you move. You're going to be on roller skates. 
Uh, Charlie, let's go on with that agenda on, um, you know, that rosewood you were going to buy? Um, Bob was thinking probably we ought to get some more lint and uh, surround it with a little coil and uh, stand. What are you doing with that cushion? Are you that nervous about this idiot? Hold on to the cushion like that. You, you're worse than him. Now what have I got, two of you? Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen. This guy here moves, he's done. He's done in three ways. Oh, uh, that, that's, that's the way, that, that's all, that's it. We won't discuss that anymore, all right? And uh, by the way, the other day, didn't I see your wife with the, uh, those stupid mint juleps, what are the mint juleps she's passing around? Uh, you're trying to intoxicate the... Did I ask you? Did I really ask you then? You've got one stupid nerve to speak up. When I talk to you, you listen. When I'm not talking to you, you shut up. All right? Now, uh, on that uh, Friday afternoon uh, block party, well, there's not supposed to be anybody there with fingers. So, uh, see that that's taken care of, huh, Charlie? Yeah, I told you that before. You're not going to give me an argument, are you, Charlie? Is it me that's had to get along with her? <laughs> Come on, get on with it, chump. I'm looking over this porcupine. Now it's you and Bob, and here's Stan now standing up. Well, if this is the way you guys want to run a meeting, this is the way I'd like to end it. Because I think I'm the one who knows what he's talking about. You were a bunch of fools from the start to the end. Let's take this up on Thursday instead of tomorrow. Here we are again. <laughs> Here we are again. Well, you think I'd have changed since the last time we spoke, don't you? Well, I've got some new news. Very new news. So much news, you would want to know what I have been doing, huh? Let me tell you, please. First of all, I picked up some kid on the side of the road. Where do you see this jerk? Get over here, kid. Oh. Oh, I'm very sorry. Okay. Let it do. Oh, I'm very sorry. Very, very sorry. This stupid thing has no face. How can you have a kid with no face? Get rid of the thing. Get out of here. I'm as done with everything that can be spoken as want to be said. So from here forward, let me talk to you about ducks. This is the prop I'm working with now. This duck is as worthless as the board it's sitting on. That's all you use it for is something to rub your neck against. That's it. I think I lost my train of thought, and that's all you're gonna get. This one we need to completely delete. I'm losing it now. I'm completely losing it. That's it, I'm losing it. 